everyone. So our third sequence is going to be a little bit more yoga inspired. Um, so we're going to do some yoga flows, holding some positions and just getting some nice yoga Zen into, into our daily, into our weekly routine. Okay. So it's just 20 minutes. We're going to start with a nice sun salutation. I hope you've done some of the other videos first, if not go a little slower. Okay. So just nice and easy, feet are shoulder width apart. And just remember, it's all about the breath. In for two, out for three, in for three, out for four. Just make sure that the exhale is just that little bit longer. And if you're looking to really get relaxation from this series, in through the nose, make sure that belly is starting to expand. Out through the mouth, okay? Nice and slow, <coughs> excuse me. Reach those arms up if you're comfortable. Take your gaze to the ceiling. If that is not for you and your shoulders, face your back gaze, go straight ahead. We're going to take it all the way down, walking it out. Hold for a moment into chair position. Now, here you have a couple of options. You can drop that knees to raise it up. Or if that's okay for you, you can keep it up. Raise it up from here. Hands back. Take it over. Change sides. Do it again. We drop knee reach again. Neck shoulder issues. You're looking straight ahead. Everything's feeling a little bit more fluid. Take it up. Okay. Bring it into a down dog. And now it's up to you. Bring it forward. You can drop it down. Back of those feet are touching. Or if that is too much for you, elbows are down. Find the one that's right for your body. And we're going to push it back into a down dog. Feel this stretch. Walking it back, nice and easy. Bring it all the way up. We're going to add chair. Okay. So I'm sure some of you have figured out that I'm adding a few fusion moves to this, and that's okay. Walk it out. Bring the leg forward. Find the one that is right for you. Up we go. Remember those breaths, nice and deep. Change it over, little down dog. Bring it in. Bring it up. We're gonna go into a down dog. And now, it can be called as cobra, it can be called a swan. Find the one that's right for you. Remember to squeeze those glutes, check that lower back. Tuck those toes under. Down dog, plank, walk it back. Swoop it up. Bring your gaze forward as you go into that chair position. Up, swoop those arms wide, walk it forward, beautiful, down dog, step, breathe, bring it back down, down dog, step it forward, reach it up, Feels so good. Down dog. Let's hang out here for a second and catch our breath. Push those heels into the ground behind you. Relax your shoulders. We're going to step the right leg. Oh, no. Sorry. My mistake. We're going to go into a plank. Cobra swan. Whichever suits you. Squeeze your glutes. Gaze is up if your shoulder and neck are cooperating. Gaze is forward if you have any shoulder or neck tension whatsoever. Get ready, tuck the toes. Down dog. We're gonna 
walk it back. Swoop it up. You bring your legs together for chair if that's a more comfortable position for you. Hold it here for breath. Reach it up. Swoop. Ready? Here we go. Let's walk it in. Plank position. Down dog. The right leg is stepping forward. We are reaching for the sky. Breath. Down dog. Step. Reach for the sky. Breath. Down dog. Let those heels press in. Take a moment. Relax those shoulders. We're going to go for a swan or a cobra. Different names, same move. Squeezing those glutes. Breath. All right, roll it under. Down dog. We're going to walk it back. Bring it up to the ceiling. Hands are stopped right over your shoulders. Gaze comes forward into the chair. Reach it up. Swoop it wide. Walk it out. Oh, this is feeling so good. Into the down dog. Push those heels. Feel the stretch. Step it forward. Leg up. Knee down. Reach for the ceiling. Nice big breath right here. Forward fold. Down dog. Step the other foot forward. Reach for the ceiling. Bring it down. Fold in the down dog. Let's breathe here. All right, swoop it forward. Squeeze those glutes, shoulders pulling down away from your ears. And let's breathe. All right, get ready. Tuck your toes. Down dog. Bring it forward. Walk it back. Swoop it up. And chair. Hold the chair. Doing awesome. We're going to bring it up. We're going to relax those arms down. Take a moment. Interlace your fingers. Squeeze those shoulders back and out. We're going to change our sequence. We're going to bring it forward. So my back foot is turned just a little bit, not fully sideways. Front leg is pointed forward. Sometimes it's easier if you find something in your house that you can line your body up with. My back heels, sorry, my, my heels, I shouldn't say my back heels, are lined up in a straight line from each other. Reaching those arms out but not hunching. All I'm going to do is a little forward bend. And look up at my hand, feeling the stretch. We're going to breathe. So if you need to bring your hand further up your leg, that is always okay. Bring it up. Change direction. Forward fold. And if you're ready, walk it up. All right. I'm moving the orientation of my toes so that they're pointing straight ahead. I'm going to fold at the hips. Straight down, hands can be on the thighs for support. We're just going to sink down into this as far as we can comfortably go. Let that head hang heavy. Bring your hands, support the body weight, and if you can, ever so gently, walk those hands back. 
find a point where your the tension is not too uncomfortable but you're feeling the stretch big breaths right here don't wait for me to tell you to breathe do inhale exhale walk those hands back out bend over to the legs for support and bring yourself upright beautiful starting in the starting position feet are shoulder width apart shoulders are relaxed i'm going to step forward warrior one triangle take a moment feel the stretch bring it up reverse triangle relax those shoulders away from your ears bring it up Whoop. toes pointed forward hands are sliding down the legs as i go into my forward bend watch if that back stays nice and straight hands walking back It's okay if your hands are on your legs for support. It's also okay if your hands are going a lot further back. You can play with your wrist position. Hands come back to the legs. Let's bring ourselves back up. We got one more. Nice. I just feel my body opening up. I hope yours is too. Step it forward. Reach it out. Drop down. Look at the hand. Bring it up. Change sides. Toes are forward, hands on hips. Here we go. Figure out where it is for you that your hands need to be to keep you feeling supported. So you just enjoy the slightly deeper stretch. Nice. Bring it up, up, up. Beautiful work, everybody. We're going to take it down to the floor. Some of you are, want to, are going to want to use a cushion or a yoga block if you have one. Stretch, help yourself by bringing that weight up. We're going to bring the bottom of the feet together. And we're just going to relax here for a moment. Stretch it out. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Beautiful. We're going to take those legs, open them up. I'm going to slide back so you can see me a little bit better. Toes to the ceiling. I'm going to take my chest, turning and facing that foot, and I'm going to reach it out. I'm not folding, I'm not hunching to get my head down, I'm just reaching it out. So if I go over my toe, that's okay. I'm looking for that stretch in my groin, back of the knee. Some of you are going to be feeling this in your lower back. Here we go. If you want to intensify, take your top hand, reach it out over top. Beautiful, to the other side. So first thing we wanna do, turn the shoulders, reach it out. If you're looking to intensify, that upper arm is coming up and over, over my ear, that's my goal. This definitely moves the stretch into the lower back. No, nothing wrong with that. We all need to stretch that area out a little bit more than we have been. Beautiful. 
Let's take those hands, walk them out, reach, 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 and walk across. Walk them back. And then go back to the middle. Toes up to the ceiling, feet are flexed, reaching forward. Enjoy that stretch. All right, we're gonna take it from here to our pretzel. So it's up to you. One leg might be straight. You may be here, just trying to get that leg to straighten up over the knee. That's the first position. Second position, bottom leg is straight, but I've crossed over. I'm hugging my knee to my chest. Hips are flat. Most of us can get to this position, but it's okay if you're starting in the first or second one. So I'm crossed over, pulling my hips, my knee to my chest. What I'm thinking about is getting my belly button to the fold in my thigh and starting to turn my gaze behind me, hand is down, giving me support, back is long, really getting into this twist. Other people could do a more advanced one where they cross their arms under, I'm not at that level. So you can start to think about bringing those hands together as you shift into it. Beautiful. Nice deep breath right here. Excellent. Slowly unwind yourself. Let's take it to the other side. Find the position that's right for you. And even though I've moved my arm away from hugging my knee, I am still pushing it in with my elbow. So I'm still getting that extra stretch as I try and change so that I can center my chest and the center of my hands. I'm not quite at that level yet. Hold it there for a deep breath. Beautiful. We're gonna take it into child's pose. Have those knees a little wide, so you've got somewhere for your hips to go. Drop yourself down, palms up. Close your eyes. Deep breath in. I just want you to relax here. We're going to hang out here for a minute. Some of you find it very uncomfortable to have your head on the ground. It is okay if you stack those hands and rest your forehead into your arms. And that'll just create a little bit more breathing space for those of you who feel a little claustrophobic. So we're just gonna hang out here. Let everything become heavy. If this position is getting too much for you, please take it, roll it back. Hands are just a couple inches away from your hands, but palms are up, eyes are closed. Some people find this position very difficult to hold. So what I want you to do is start at the bottom of your feet. And just think about clenching the muscles at the bottom of your feet and relaxing them. Then I want you to squeeze your calf muscle, hard to do without squeezing the quads, and relax them. Take it to your quads, up to the thighs, give them a squeeze, and release. Now we're gonna focus on those glutes, squeeze, 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 and release. Take it to the core, squeeze that core in, try not to squeeze your face at the same time and release. Find the chest muscles. Squeeze your chest muscles. Good. Squeeze your back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Release. Squeeze your arms. I really can't do those without squeezing the hands. Release. 
Let me check your face. Squeeze your squeeze your face muscles. And release. Let's take a few deep breaths right here. For three, two, and one. 